Welcome back, folks. We're back in with uh, Space Haven Alpha 8 on the HSS Callisto off camera. Spending about an hour of my time. Uh, I mined all the resources here, 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 and here. And I uh, got some goodies. Actually, no, not here. There's just nothing there. But we're about to jump in and get a derelict. So let's go do it. I wish I could have spent more time on that little send-off, but I was running into technical difficulties with my recordings, so <laughs> I was troubleshooting. Also the reason why I don't have my uh, power video out yet. So we're going to drop in. We're going to send in a three-man away team to take care of this. You three are going. <laughs> I'm going to focus on cutting out more of the gameplay. It's just going to require me to play more before I uh, actually put out a video. <laughs> I'm just going to cut it down. I do have a Dwarf Fortress series in the works. I got the recording for the first two fortresses in that, and I'm going to kind of deep dive them and use my fancy mapping skills to clearly articulate the bigger picture. Well, at least attempt to clearly articulate that bigger picture but we'll see we'll see how that goes those have proven to be far more work than i thought they ever would be and i was mainly waiting on the new dwarf fortress update with the villains and heroes to give me more story elements but yeah i have i have successfully destroyed two Dwarf Fortresses. Now, I have chosen to go for the tougher starts. I'm not great at the game, but it's fine. It make, it's forced me to learn a lot. I have learned so much about that game. Every single time I play, I feel like I learn something about it. That's where I hope this game gets to. But the level of simulation in that is just ridiculous. And it's kind of like Space Station 13 in that it has decades at this point of uh, development into it. It's nuts. But I kind of want to go for more of like a narrative storytelling type deal. Kind of like Krug Smash, but slightly different. He's got his thing and he does it really well. I watch his videos religiously. <laughs> They're great. And also Tex. So, think of it like a mixture of from the Black Pants Legion and uh, Krug Smash. I guess that's kind of a appropriate analogy. Uh, this is a very quiet ship. Like very few aliens. After doing all the like the really hard sectors at first, it's kind of weird going into all these easier ones. No new crew members. That's a shame. Oh, there's another alien on here. There he is. Take some shots. That's it. The Star Sapphire. Let's go ahead and get it going. Quick. We're going to expedite that. We'll get the mining going. And uh, I'll leave you guys for a bit and let you watch this. <laughs> All right, well, that's pretty much done. I don't really need more whole scrap right now. I've got plenty. Uh, we're just going to mine these on the next day, and that should be done quickly. Uh, something I did in my off-camera playthrough. Uh, I added my two turrets. I got finished. So now we're kind of a powerhouse with uh, double hull stabilizers. Two shield generators and four turrets. No scanner, though. I want to push that off to an alternate ship. One of the things I've noticed, though, uh, I think the grouping that was spoken of in the patch notes is actually just being able to shift click these and then use those so you can target multiple at once. What I'm going to do for this sector, since it's pretty much picked, there's no hostiles right now, is I'm going to continue to mine the resources off camera. Spare you guys the uh, the slow gameplay footage, unless I have something to say. But uh, yeah, 
if you're wondering where my Star Citizen crossover campaigns are, I thought this would play out a little quicker. <laughs> I didn't realize this this one was going to survive as long. Um, which is why I'm starting to expedite the playthroughs on these. I'm cutting out a lot. Like if you see that 40 minute one that I put out last fr this last Friday. That 40 minutes was almost two hours of footage. And that's one sector, I think. I think it was just this one. Just covering, like, a few sectors within this entire system. And if I got all this to go through, ooh, that's way too many episodes. I gotta move this along, so then we can quickly start new campaigns in, in the new patches. Because eventually we're gonna hit another patch, that, or an update, that's going to break my save, so... Such as uh, the alpha life, right? I know they're getting closer and closer to release on early access for Steam. Which I think is going to bring a lot more people. So, there may be a point where I take a break from playing these and kind of focus more on other stuff. But, trying to get those tutorials out. I've had a lot of problems with audio processing. Mainly the introduction of artifacts from uh, noise reduction. I know, it's super exciting. But, uh, yeah, it's... Audio is not my strong suit. I know video pretty well. I know imagery. I know how to present things fairly well. Just from my military background. But I was not an audio guy. <laughs> I'm becoming one. I'm starting to notice it. Like, if I watch TV shows, uh, I'm starting to notice, like, noise reduction and removal and gating that people are using in there. It's really interesting. Maybe sometime I'll use a, I'll upload my process for everybody to critique the hell out of. It's basically from watching YouTube videos of people that know what they're doing or claim to know what they're doing and replicating it. But what I've noticed is every voice is totally different. <laughs> one version, one person's process may work great and then somebody else's won't. I also need to get a pop filter. I figured out ways to remove plosives in uh, in post, but the Sure SM7B sure does love love the plosive. Guess I could try the big fuzzy windscreen. I don't know if that would help or not. Let's jump. All right, so our plan is to come all the way around here, come back up here, hit this derelict. But I'll catch you guys in a few minutes when we hit another derelict. All right, well, we're back. We've got more derelicts. Looks like there's a few out here that we're going to hit up. Oh, there's a double derelict in this system. Nice. All right, well. What I've also done off camera is I built storage here. I put a few more little lights out there, little amount of times, just to light up the, the whole ship a little better. But I put these out here and I set up some rules for bringing hull scrap and infra scrap here and then bring all the tech, energy, and soft scrap here. And why did I do this? I have two recyclers. I set this recycler to only do soft energy and tech scrap, and this one to only do hull and infra scrap. It'll specialize that a little bit. We don't have as much redundancy, and I can get all the scrap out of this area, push it out here closer to the actual recyclers, and I may move these over closer to them. That one's fine, but this one's a little far. That's my plan. But let's send an away team. We're gonna do three man team. When I get more people, I'll do double breaches again. That gets a little hairy. <laughs> Neither of these are claimable. Let's go dock with this. All right, he's dropping all that off good. I do need to do a video eventually on logistics because that is kind of a, it's a complicated subject. <laughs> But first, I have to finish my power one, which is probably the most complicated. And then I'm going to do one on exploring these derelicts and considerations. They're fairly straightforward, so they should be pretty easy to knock out. Come on, 
Shoot him. He almost went down. That was, a, that was a little dicier than I thought it would be. What's in this room here? Nothing. Hostile. He's down. Oh, we got a few more rooms to clear. Micromanaging these guys a little bit on these is a good idea. Just because you might run into problems where they don't shoot right away. And you can uh, designate targets a little quicker. The Drunk on Turkey. Hey, I've had this shit before. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and hit up this other derelict here shortly. I don't want to work on salvaging this just yet. Uh, where are we at today? Where's Caitlin? No, it's Andre. Andre. They're still in the middle of the day. I can send these three out to knock out this bad boy. We'll go hit up the other one, clear it, and then uh, we'll probably drop out for a minute. I'll let you guys miss all the boring stuff. It's fun for me. It's kind of fun to watch, but unless I have something pertinent to talk about, like it's not that not that interesting for you. Oh, we found a busy ship. Pushing. Man, they just keep coming out. There might be uh, eggs on the ship. I don't know. Let's push back here. Now I'm going to set this real quick. Just so I can get old Michelle working this. Keep him busy. There we go. Smoke that. Nice. There's a few more aliens. I haven't seen any of the creep yet. Like the Zerg creep. <laughs> Let's keep pushing back here. We're going to clear this room and then come around here and sweep around. Oh, ran into a hostile. Shoot him. Man, you almost got smoked. Come on, dude. Pay attention. Clear your corners. No, nothing. Go ahead and uh, create a little wall breach point here. All right, we cleared that. This is atmospherics. I'm just going to clear a hallway. And that's it. Okay, good. Nobody died. It's great. Let's transfer all that. We'll get the tech and energy scrap. I'm going to skip the whole scrap for now. Actually, I'm going to do the same here. No more whole scrap for you. Although he's going to get it now, of course. All right, well, it's a good point to let her run. Catch you guys in a few. All right, we are back, and uh, well, we're about to go jump after my people sleep. Actually, no, forget them. They can, they can do it. At least get it going first. That is the idea. All right, so... We're going to jump down here and clear this derelict. And then I think immediately go for this one. I'm going to mostly cut out the actual salvaging portion. And if I have a new mechanic or something I've changed on the ship, I'll explain that. Or if I have something I want to talk about. All right, Caitlin, come off that. They can all sleep, recuperate, and then we're going to go hit this. It's a pretty decent sized one. No hull breaches. That should be interesting. Hmm. Well, might be some holes in the floor here and here in this area. There's the more oblivious. Uh, who are we going to send? We'll send everybody but Michelle. He's had a rough time lately. And a, and a space burial to his buddy, Rossan. Let's go ahead and dock. Decided to clear these. I'm gonna empty those out and make one of them a weapons locker and one for food. Start specializing my stuff. All right, let's uh, undock and start clearing. All right, this sector is clear. Eventually we're gonna run into a ship with more eggs. <laughs> 
Hopefully not as crazy as the ones we dealt with in the the rim worlds, so to speak. All right, nothing here. Let's blow a hole in that wall. Oh yeah, we got the big guys. Let's get ready to fire. There he is. Oh, we got two for. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be a tough ship. I can already tell. Andre took a hit there. There we go. Nice. It's a good thing I took out that wall because that gave us a little bit of warning. Let's keep pushing. I'm probably gonna take out and stick out that wall. Alright, that's uh atmospherics, it looks like. Let's go pick up the data log. Nice. Just gonna keep pushing. We gotta find the eggs before they all hatch. Nice, smoke those guys. I haven't seen any creep yet, so maybe there aren't any. It's a pretty big ship though, so. They could be hidden out there somewhere. Nice. Blow open this wall. There they are. Let's push over here and get some shots off. Don't be afraid to make your own breaches here. Do what you gotta do. Oh, he's going on his own. Danver. Oh my god, those are all the big aliens, those three are, and these are the small guys. Take that out, start pushing through here. I think that was the bulk of the eggs. There's probably going to be residual aliens out there. Maybe. No crew members though. Interesting. The Dauntless is clear. Let's go ahead and transfer all the goods and we'll get the scrap. I'm going to leave the whole scrap because I'm doing pretty good on that right now, but, uh, let's see. Do I have anything to trade? I have human meats. I'll take money. All right. Well, we're going to let this run and, uh, I'll catch you guys on the other side. All right. We're just about done with salvaging all this stuff. The salvage and scrapping is done. It's just transferring goods now. It'll take a little bit, but talking about the rules setting for this, all you have to do within your ship is go to rules and then, uh, it's based on ship level. That's between ships. That's how you go between them, but click on rules and then you can set like what I did here was select this and then I set bring here and that way they prioritize bringing all that to here first. And moving it out of there and same thing I did here was I said no more I basically just clicked empty rule for everything selected there but then I reselected firearms and I said bring here for those so this is my weapons rack and this is my food rack because I did the same thing here with food that's how you organize stuff on your ship what are we doing here just a little bit more My plan is to come up here, hit this derelict, get that. Come back up here, see what's going on over there. And then eventually come for this derelict and jump to the next sector. Next system, rather. What's the smaller one? Smaller one. Medium, large, small, small. Yeah, so we'll be getting around. Small little red dwarfs there. <laughs> about done just about don't really need the infra scrap so we're gonna leave that maybe they're doing one more trip maybe yep good we'll get that trip done and uh then we're gonna jump we're gonna go clear another derelict hopefully find another crew member which i need to get my spreadsheet up so stand by all right we are done here let's uh get out of this system 
release this sector, and then work on getting out of the system. Get a little bit of ice up here. One derelict. See what happens. Hey, good. At least they're right next to each other. That's nice. All right, we will send out... Or is this the end of their shift? Yeah, it's the end of their shift. I'm going to let them sleep. With somebody on mining. Knock that out real quick. Clear this derelict quite fast. Actually, I'll leave this off for now and then prioritize this. Just waiting on everybody to sleep. The current rules that I have set up for manufacturing generally. Um, let's bring this up a little, a little bigger. Uh... This is persistent. Just always process this. Always process ice. Always process this continuously. I want six of these. I want, I think it's perpetually just always process raw chemicals because you don't really need them for anything else. And turn them into actual processed chemicals. And then usually like 10 to 15 of everything else. Now I get these from scrap. These I need to actually manufacture, so... Minimum of six in the stuff I have to manufacture. All right, let's send out these three, and they're going to jump on board. And then we're going to go clear this bad boy. Looks like it'll be separated a little bit so we can fire on anything over there. There we go. Send the uh, shuttle back. All right, we got a few hostiles coming. I don't think they can get to us over here. I'm going to push you guys back so you can get a better line of sight on them. Better firing line. Nice. Nice. Smoked a few. Let's get going. It'll even up the odds a little bit. Star Citizen announced that uh, Theaters of War will be out shortly for first wave testing. So I might go to Ivacati, which would be me. So I might get some early testing on that. And uh, whenever I can, I will start uploading some of that because that's kind of like a battlefield style gameplay where you have control points you have to capture. Oh, that might be a, another crew member. Nice. You're done. So what we got in here. Shit, it's a galley. I thought it was going to be like a medical bay with a cryo sleep chamber, but it was not. Let's keep moving. Always clear. And engineering here is now clear. No new crew members. The Grey. It's like the movie The Grey. It was a good one. Liam Neeson. It's about a dude surviving in the wilderness. Fighting off a pack of wolves after he crashes, I think. Yeah, that or he just gets isolated. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've watched that. Well, we're going to mine this ice. We're going to get this. And then... Truck on over here. So, as is the fashion of this video, I'll leave you guys for a few minutes. I'm going to come back. All right, we just have like one more day of transferring goods and then we're good with that. I've already mined all this. And you can see over here, we've got all the weapons in this nice little weapons locker. We've got the food over here. We've got mostly scrap over here, but they put some of the blocks that they process over here too. Now, another thing you I like doing generally, which I haven't done yet, is um, put lockers full of the fuel rods and the like in or right next to the power generators and hyperfuel containers for the engines themselves. It just creates a better workflow for if somebody needs to do this. They don't have to walk across the ship, grab a rod, and then come back and pop it in there. That's a general rule of thumb. That's the beauty of this game, right? Or any of these building games. You can be as efficient as you want or as inefficient as you want. I like to think for 
videos like this, being a little inefficient actually creates some interesting scenarios. So otherwise, if you're hyper efficient, guess what you do? You just jump, mine, repeat. <laughs> you know, it's it's never a threat. There's never a problem. Now, this game is still early in development. There's a lot of other features that need to come in, I'm sure. So I have like the crew dynamic. Like right now, if you look at the relationships, it's on there. It's tracked, but it doesn't really do anything right now. So it's one of those things. Because originally, before I knew that I didn't do anything yet, uh, I, I was trying to optimize my shifts. So people who liked each other were on shifts together. Yeah, that's, that's my old NCO days right there. <laughs> Managing personalities. All right, we are done with that. Let's uh, get going. Let's keep this ball rolling and go find some big, al not alien ships, <laughs> some big pirate ships and take them down. Hopefully find some more people. Let's get out of here. Let's go down, go up here, go up here. Hey, there's another derelict. Should I go for this right now? Let's go down here and get this one. And then we'll jump back. Because that's on the way anyways. Uh, I guess we'll go right here, kind of in the middle. We'll send these three out. It's kind of the nice thing about killing, or about, uh, killing the pirates in the system. Like, you don't have to deal with them later. You can kind of just like take your time. Come in here, like, eh, I'm going to go mine this. I'm going to jump over here. Or when you get to the point where you're strong enough to just take them by yourselves without issue. All right, that shuttle's gone. These guys are drafted. Let's push. Let's see what we're working with here. open this wall so we can get through easier. Solving a future me problem right now. Let's push over here. Let's come on through. There's a birthing right there. A couple of beds. So one of the things that's going to make it into the game is kind of like in Project Zomboid where you have just nascent storytelling that happens. You just have events that are there and you kind of fill in the blanks with your own imagination. Um, that's come into this game eventually where you essentially will stumble upon scenes where it's like Project Zomboid. You have an instance where there's a shotgun laying on the ground and somebody, some corpse there without a head. Somebody took their own life or... It's a frat party that happened. They got a house full of zombies that are a bunch of frat boys kind of thing. I think that's the best way of storytelling in these games. You have like an underlying narrative, but you let the player experience the story as, as they go. You just stumble onto it as you go through it. I think that's the coolest way to do it. And that was confirmed. That's coming. It's one of the uh, Kickstarter goals. All right, so this is all set up and good to go. We're mainly just scrapping no crew members in there, which sucks. But we'll let this run and we'll let people uh, do the salvaging. Keep this story going. This one. This is my story for the HSS Callisto. And that's my intent, is to turn this more into a storytelling platform. Like, it's fun to showcase the stuff in new patches. And that is kind of the idea of the playthroughs every... Every new patch, every new major update. Now, even though this one was a major update, it was mainly just UI stuff, so it didn't really affect many features. But I'd like to do more of a storytelling idea. If you look at some of my original videos, if you look at some of my original videos, like for Project Zomboid, 
I was trying my hand at that, but that was early stuff. But for now, got the Slaver's Guild jumping in again. I'm gonna let this go and I'll catch you guys in a few. All right, we're done moving stuff, salvaging, and mind everything. So we're gonna jump. And my plan is to mine this on the way, and then come back here. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, so we're gonna get that going. I need my three people. Danvern needs to go poop. Because I think he shot his pants. Yeah, it's progressing too. Um, two, uh, two hour expiration date on that. That pants shedding. Let's send these three out. Let's hop on board. And we'll send a three man team. It's a little bit of a bigger one. I've got some hope that there could be a. Uh, crew member on here. Time to send that guy back. Well, let's start pushing. People aren't in their optimal state just yet. Oh, look at that. Hopefully he doesn't die right away. Oh, yeah. Well, let me change that. Looks like we got an android here. That is, uh, Federico Gill, the android. Let's see what they do. Sheriff, who is neurotic. Great. They're slower, but they learn quicker. But you can't learn yet. Huh. Ah. Well, they... I guess it's in there, unless he threw it in in this patch and snuck it in. I don't know. Oh, we'll get you out of here. I'll let you go back to the ship. What can you do? Real quick. Uh, oh, good. You can do botany. That's nice. And you can do mining. Really good at industry. We'll uh, have you focus on that. Actually, look like the best at industry on the ship. Nice. Okay. Uh, since you're good at industry, let's give you an appropriate suit color. Thinking like orange, orange do that's not really orange. It's kind of orange. That's orange. All right, we got everybody going. Um, Michelle to move. There we go. Federico will get off the ship, and then uh, yeah, great. We've got a fifth crew member. That's awesome. Just gonna keep pushing. It's handy that it was right at the uh, front of the ship. I haven't seen any hostiles yet. That's weird. What's the story of this ship? That's kind of thing I'm looking forward to that I've you know hinted at earlier. This is the nascent storytelling that comes from just setting up a scene. Let that imagination run wild. It's great for storytelling. Oh, nothing here. I have yet to see a single hostile. It's like the ship was abandoned and they left uh, Federico around, or this blew up, which would have been the power generator. Very interesting. We only got a couple more rooms. Uh, the hapless gambit. They had a power generator or something explode? Maybe a shuttle? I don't know. Oh, explored that. We got a new crew member. Let's take all that junk. And we'll get tech, energy, and hull. Good. You can definitely see our crew members were being overwhelmed there quite a bit with tasks. But now that we have a fifth, and they're really good at industry, that should help. Send somebody to get all this energium. And, well, let's see how this works. Alright, 
well, I'll jump ahead here. See you guys in a few. All right, they're about all right. They're about done now, so most of that's moved. Made a little trade. I sold some uh, pistols, some of the five sevens, over to those guys because you know, going back to doing gun running, I guess. Uh, I moved this autopsy table over here. I moved this uh, water refinery over here. So it's closer to this. And I noticed that this guy was blocking the path here. So everybody had to walk all the way around and then come back. So I fixed it. I totally fixed it by moving that. I had to put another, another little power node over here. But that's done. How are we doing on this? Just about there. I could leave the infra scrap, which I will. I was focusing on getting the tech and energy scrap. Already mined everything. I do want to get another one of these cryo sleep chambers. Where is it at? Science, right? Facility. There we go. Hyper sleep chamber. Yeah, you want to put the raw resources for the systems and industry close to the storage or close to each other. That way, yeah, logistically, they don't have to move as far. Federico's doing good on the industry front. Just cranking it out left and right. Already shat their pants. It's great. It's good initiation. Shat their uh, space pants. What are we doing here? Just about. All right, good pickup. What else? Yeah, still need somebody to go over there and grab the last couple of little bits of scrap, which got all hands on deck on that one. I think that'll do it. Yeah, there we go. Coming back, and we're going to jump to the new system. Even got this built already. Nice. All right, we're going to do a hyper jump, and then we're going to go to the next system. And we're ready. Let's go up here, and then we'll jump. Can we see over there yet? We can. Jump here. We've got hyper sleep chambers for everybody. You can watch them taking a little nap in there. Federico just recently came out of hypersleep, so I'm sure that's jarring. The M Slander, what do you have? Or what do you want? Yeah, nothing I'm really willing to sell you, and I don't really need anything. I could sell you a whole bunch of bug meat. Oh boy. Uh, I got that stuff sitting in reserve. Alright, let's do another hyper jump, and we'll check out the rest of the system here. we go nothing there just the cult of new haven ship oh that's a juicy little sector so it's a pretty small system i think we can I think we can clear this one before we end the episode i'll cut out all the boring bits obviously right there will be fine oh fire right away I think it was in the uh, depressurized section of the ship, though, so that's fine. Oh, that's a lot of resources. Nice. Oh, we gotta, we gotta arm up Federico. Not that I'm gonna send him out right away, but just in case, because we might have to deal with pirates at some point here. Let's give you a submachine gun, because that sounds fun. Uh, what do you have, skill-wise? Two. So you're okay with weapons. Good. Good. All right, I'm going to let everybody sleep for a few and get ready to rock. We'll send a three-man team out. Let's look what we got around. A lot of ships, like two military ships, civilian, two cults with New Haven. This is a busy system. I already got three derelicts we're working with. Hopefully there's another crew member on those. And 
then a claimable derelict would be nice. And get that scanning system up. And maybe move some industry over there. I don't know what. I'm not sure. Maybe just have them do this, because it's nice and specific. They don't need a whole lot to do it. That could be good. It's a small system. Have them focus on one little bit of industry. Give them a turret, a shield, and uh, I guess it all depends on what they have. How many system points are available. Alright, everybody's up. We send Caitlin. We're going to send Andre. Yeah, we'll send Federico out. Why not? Cut your teeth, Android. Let's send this out to dock with that. <clears throat> Alright, let's pause on draft that ship. And let's get moving. Oh, two hostiles right out the gate. Three! Well, this might be a tough ship. We'll see. Federico's already almost out for the count. Let's pull back. Let that guy up from afar. Oh yeah, this is a tough ship. I'm going to send Federico out. We'll just have Caitlin and uh, Andre finish this. Uh, Federico, no. <laughs> no. up here. What are you doing? Get out of there. Right, nobody in birthing. We're going to keep pushing over here. Saw one hostel somewhere over here, I thought. Could be wrong, though. Alright, we're clear there. I want to rush this to see if there's eggs. So that's always going to be a concern. That one hostel. What do we got over here? Nothing. And it's clear. The UT volunteer. Well, whoever whoever backed the game there is from Tennessee. I'll tell you that much. Alright. Well, since we successfully did that and Federico almost got knocked out on the first uh, go. <laughs> well, we're going to go ahead and mine all this stuff. Scrap all that, and then I'll catch you guys here in a few. Alright, I've decided to start specializing people, so if you're a 1 on any skill, I'm just not going to have you do it. If you're a 3, I want you to max it out. That's your top priority. And then if you're a 2, well, that's a 1 priority. We're going to try that because we've got good coverage all over the place. I think this will help isolate some people so they... Everybody's not trying to do everything all at once, and they get stuck on the ship. Should speed this up a little faster. Well, it'll speed it up. <laughs> they can't really speed it up faster, I guess. Increased velocity? I don't know. But the ship's almost done. Um, yeah, it's mostly just transferring stuff now, so that'll be fairly quick. There's so many ships in this system. So many. Be back in a minute. Okay, the pirate's coming at me. I might have some help from the cult of New Haven. Oh, the broken, the broken leg. Well, somebody told him to break a leg and they sure did. All right, I'm gonna start getting people on systems early. That way they're ready and they're not jumping over all over the place. Actually, it might be good for me to set this so none of the mining pods or shuttles leave. Because that was a problem. <laughs> so we're going to wait for them. And, uh, well, we'll take them. We'll take them in a fight. Caitlin's out there running, running stuff. Oh, they jumped out of here. Cowards. Cowards. Alright, I definitely want somebody on turrets and shields. Everything else can be intermittent use. We'll get ready to fire. We'll group 
all the guns together. I think that's what they mean by grouping them. So you can just select them all. I don't know where you at, buddy. Oh, you picked the wrong sector to jump into. I bet they're going to jump real soon. It is interesting that they have their engines facing the other way, so... Huh. It's so is that your head-to-head? -head? Oh yeah, he's got nothing on me. <laughs> he may not even be able to jump before we kill him. Oh, they're about to jump. They're about to get it. Can they jump before we kill them? And they can. Let me go ahead and stop that. Good work. Good work, team. We are way outmatched for these guys at this point. Let's go ahead and turn this off. See where he went. He's going somewhere. If he goes down here, we're going to run into him. If he goes here, we'll eventually run into him. It's a very linear system, so not a problem. All right, back to mining. All right, we've got everything mined. We just need a few more things transferred over here. Caitlin's on it. Just had two Cult of New Haven ships jump in. It's going to be interesting if they declare war on me, like they did in the one playthrough. I think that was a glitch. I didn't do anything to, to anchor them as far as I know. But... Yeah, just like one more trip. The specializing is working out fairly well. We've got more people doing things. Yeah, I need you on two, no one. Yeah, working on priorities is fun. You're my navigator, you're my gunner, you're my shield operator, and you're my operations guy. You're just a backup, Danvern. And there they all go. Here comes the civilian ship. Is he running from pirates? Maybe. And we'll run into that guy eventually. It won't take much to take him down because they don't seem to repair off, uh, off camera, so to speak. The Volstrecker. Come on, dudes. Let's go. I just need you to work on this. Just go pick up a few more items over on that ship. I just realized how many uh, Energium Crystals I have. 68. I'm set on Energy Rods for a while. And on top of that, I get some from Scrap as well, so, you know, it's quite a bit. All right, that's all picked up. Maybe it just needed to get picked up. Maybe. I don't know. Looks like there's one more. One more trip needs to happen with somebody. Yeah, we'll see how this video works out um, with the extremely trimmed down version of it. It takes about, at this point, probably about four or five times the amount of recording to get the same length of video. So we'll see how that goes. That is the problem with these games, because there's a lot of idle time in here. That's just spent sitting here watching people move stuff around, which is really cathartic for me, but if I don't have something interesting to say, maybe not so much for you guys, even though the music in this game is phenomenal. Shout out to Paul Zimmerman there. It's good stuff. So we're just waiting on a couple of people to move stuff, so I'll catch you guys in a few minutes. So a trick I just thought of, if your guys aren't working on this, go ahead and go to your priorities or your crew management screen and then go to ships and then bump up the priority on the derelict ships. They immediately started working on it. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier, but that's about done now. That's great. It's really just uh, picking up the last bit, picking up uh, the last crew member, and now we can get out of here. There we go. Let's jump on to the next system. Here comes, uh, who's that? Somebody. 
Can't remember if that's the Android ship or the Slaver's Guild. Somebody get on that. Caitlin's on it. Let's go. We'll go over here. We'll clear this derelict and mine the stuff. That's a decent sized ship. It could have a crew member. It's possible. So we're gonna let everybody sleep. Get their rest in. I think that's what part of the day they're in. Yeah, they're about to go to bed. So we're gonna wait for them to sleep and then uh, go for it. Hmm. Yeah, so Federico's the only one without PTSD, essentially. Michal was held as a prisoner. Aliens held his dreams because he was captured by aliens with old uh, Rawson. R.I.P. Brother. Uh, you've got Caitlin was held as a prisoner. Oh, I guess Danvert's not, not bad. Andre was captured by aliens at some point. So really, Danvert and Federico are the only two without, uh, let's just say, psychological issues at this point. All right, they're up. Federico, you need to do better on this one. We're going to send you, Dan Vernon, and Andre out. And we're going to dock up here. Oh, good. The airlock's like centrally located. That's really nice. While they're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get all this mining started. That way those with mining who are on the ship can go get it. We are docked. Let's get ready to rock. Send the shuttle back just in case. Get a hostel. Shoot right off the gate. Get a long shot there. Nice. Let's push up into this corridor. All right, nothing here. Let's clear this hallway. Oh, nice. Denver just smoked that one. One shot. What do we got in this room here? The toilet. Great. The toilet. I'm a big fan of puns. So is my wife. So anytime we've uh, traveled in Europe, I've always found it funny that you've got places up for lease and renting, say, to let and always made the toilet joke. Because that's what I do. Oh, there is a crew member. Nice. And things are starting to ramp up here. Let's clear this. Smoke that. Let's go get this guy. Hopefully he's not dead. Oh, he was dead. I got a new data log. Interesting. Well, okay. See you, dude. I guess there's a small chance that they're dead. Let's take a look at this data log, because I haven't done much with those. Oh, okay. Oh, it's Janet McMaster. Janet... Janet was completely oblivious to the events that were plaguing the ship as she was being rushed into a hypersleep chamber. As she slipped into her eternal sleep, she thought of her husband waiting for her to continue with their lives. Well, that's sad. This is some of the, uh... Latent storytelling that happens when you find that. I like that. That I think that's cool. Let's see what we got over here. It's kind of excited for having a new crew member. Unfortunately, we did not. I may do a separate video series where I just read off those a little audiobook style. I know people have asked if they would get voice actors for that. Uh, I'm volunteering my services here. Although I do have a business too, so <laughs> if, if they want to pay me, that's cool too. I'm trying to upgrade my setup so it can actually be professional and reduce my noise floor significantly. All that fun stuff. Andre's floating away. <laughs> He's doing some sweet 360 no scopes there. That was pretty awesome. Oh, that like went zipping into space. All right, well, we've cleared this ship. Good. Too bad for Janet. We'll try to give her a space funeral if we can. It won't be as uh, dramatic as old, as old Rawson's because we didn't know her. We'll launch her off into the sun. All right, we're 
gonna go ahead and mine and scrap and all that stuff, and then we'll give her a send off. Well, Janet McMaster, we're gonna send you out into space. Crammed into a hypersleep chamber. I don't know if you were a slaver yourself, as that was a slaver ship. But we'll send you off anyways. You weren't hostile to us. But hey folks, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoy this. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. Before you sleep tonight, come take my hand once more. Step out, let's dance once more. We'll see.